Central Matitsalami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. Miss Outrage, reaching out to the trouble souls. Don't miss it. CPL, Jesus Christ is Lord. How many of you are here to receive from the Lord? Are you sure? If you know you are here to receive from the Lord, give three people high five and tell them, I will never go back the same way I came. Can somebody shout Amen? Amen. Good morning. You are blessed. I want you to please help me today and let's go together. If I come before you this morning and I just stand, I didn't say a word, you didn't hear anything from me, will you be blessed? But when I say you are blessed, you receive it. Am I right? Because there's something coming within me to you. So, please, whosoever you are, when we say something that should favor you, say amen. When we say something that you should say along, say with us. I'm not ordinary child. I just want to suck you, psych you, you this morning. I'm not ordinary child. I will never be the same again. My father might be poor. But I will not be poor. Come on, you are coming up small. Some people, you came in this morning with your heart battered. It doesn't matter. Jesus Christ is an army. He will do that which your enemy never believed can happen. He's about to put them to shame. You see, you don't be afraid because the Bible says surely they will gather. That is their own duty. But our own duty is that they will fall. Today is my day of joy. Is somebody hearing the sound of my voice? Today is my day of victory. Even if nobody succeeds in my family, I will succeed. I will not die in this battle. I will not die in this battle. You battle of life. I will finish my course with peace. You will not cut me short. I will not die somebody's death. Say amen now. Those people will go look for work. Uh, they went to look for work. They did not, went, they did not go for debt. They went to, for something to, to shop. I mean, not be so. These are university graduates. Their mama, their papa struggled, trained them. When it was time for them to become somebody, they stretched their hands. Where must they be the ones to die? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Because there are lights beaming on them, this, that. They select. You will not be selected for death. You will never be selected for destruction. I'm not hearing your amen. Wherever they have gathered to register you, God will disappoint them. I say God will disappoint them. God will disappoint them. I'm not hearing your amen. God will disappoint your enemies. God will disappoint them. From your village, God will disappoint them. From your family house, God will disappoint them. From your father's house, God will disappoint them. From your mother's house, God will disappoint them. From your business center, God will disappoint them. In your school, God will disappoint them. 
in your life God will disappoint them anywhere you are God will disappoint your enemies somebody shout yes God will disappoint them the worst that is about to happen to them is God will make them those who are fighting you listen to me you know, for everybody that is an enemy. <laughs> you don't know. There are enemies for everybody on this planet Earth. So what God is about to do to us this season is, He's going to gather the enemies of your enemies to fight them. Do you understand what I mean? Those who are interested in reducing you. <laughs> Those who look at you and say, as long as I live, you cannot. They have their own enemies. Jehovah God will go around and gather them. And say, fight that man. Fight that man. Fight that woman. Fight that man. Fight that boy. Fight that girl. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. I want you to shout an unusual amen. Those that are boasting. I don't know whom you are, but I stand in the name that is above every other name. The name of resurrected Jesus Christ this morning. Whether from your husband's side, your father's side, your wife's side, anywhere. They are boasting, they are consulting, they are enchanting and say as long as we live you can never, they will die and will continue. Because it's what they said. We are going with what they have said. Somebody say amen. Why must they be the ones to die? A lot of millions, thousands. Then just be them. Go tell somebody, I will not die somebody's death. In Jesus' name. I picked the paper and a lady was saying, he said, my sister died for her friend. May you not die on timely death. Right from the altar down, from our general down to the least person of the pastors. Every member of Christian Pentecostal Mission, means that which worldwide, wherever we are, we shall not die somebody's death. When I say we will not die somebody that you shout through amen. 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 You will not die somebody that Nobody will exchange you. Wherever they have gathered over the night to take decision over your life. God shall send them astray against one another. Can I hear you shout fire? fire? Every evil altar, the race that is speaking, wherever they are, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Amen. I want you to pick your Bible. You know, some of you, you don't understand. Pick your Bible. So that we'll go home. I want us to go home and go and sleep and rest. 
But while you are sleeping and resting, remember there is battle going on. Nigeria is not stabilized now. Everything is working upside down. But I know we will not die in this battle. We don't know where we are going from here. But we know that Jesus Christ is the king over this nation. And because we are here, Nigeria will not sink. Yeah. This thing has so much affected the church. The church has lost its value. Look at me here. Our leaders have sold the churches. I'm sorry to say that. Before, when there is trouble in the nation, we run to the church. <laughs> but now, <laughs> you can't run to the church because church is sleeping. Their hands are soiled with money, 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 money. So they can't say the truth again. Because when somebody who is up there every time you go give you, he carry brown paper, give you all the time brown paper, it's but your conscience. And so instead of you to say, Thus says the Lord, you say, Thus says the Lord, you are blessed. And when they see the people that will say the truth, they start fighting those people. Um. Mark, sorry, Luke 7, 11. Can we all stand and do that? Mark, sorry, what's the problem with Mark? Luke 7, 11. Lift your Bible up. If you have Bible, lift it up. If you don't have Bible, whatever you have that is the Bible, lift it up. Look at me this way. This young man with white. Put down your Bibles. Look this way. This man. Yes. Come. There is something you are looking for. Seriously from God. <laughs> uh, seriously. And I want to prophesy to you that before the middle of June, that thing will come. Yeah. Look at me. When did you start coming in here? Huh? Just today. Have you ever come to church today before? Today. Mm. Today. 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 Have you ever been to church before? This church. No. Have you ever been to church before? Where? Catholic. Catholic. Before you leave this place, you will accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. When you accept, who brought him? Who came with him? Nobody. You came alone. Do you have a friend? Who is your friend? Did you bring your friend? Okay. Bring your friend next Friday. Okay? I mean next Tuesday. Before we'll go, you accept Jesus? Once you accept Jesus, before the middle of June, you will give your testimony here. Yeah. That shame that is pursuing you shall go back to the sender. Yeah. There's a cloth of shame they have sold. 
They want you to wear it at all costs. And here you are. You are struggling as a man. You are laboring as a man. But after today, your story will change. God will surprise you. If you can serve him, things will change. Where are you from? Anambra. <laughs> I'll see you. I don't want to say it here, but I'll see you. It's a bloody thing. But God will deliver you. All right? So, go back there because we need to lead you to Christ. Let's finish. What's your name? Okechuku. Uh, all of you are Okechuku. 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 Chuku, 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 chuku. Thank God for chuku, chuku, chuku. Chuku, chuku, chuku. Hallelujah. I want to hear the loudest Amen. Is somebody alive shouting? Amen. If you know you have your own testimony, shout the loudest Amen. Luke 7 11. Luke 7 11. You seen it? I will not enter this grave. Who is this man? Who are you? Come, I'm not seeing you, Claire. Faith Clinic, please stretch your hand as he lifts up his hands. We are going to shout seven times, you will not enter this grave. Let's go. around and face them. You are going to say with me, Faith Clinic, say with me, say every covenant they have made over you from your village, your father's compound, we, Faith Clinic, we agree that that covenant shall not stand. You will not enter that grave. Say that grave they have dug, waiting for you. You will not enter it. Say it seven times, you know, and tight. Turn around. What's your name? Huh? Jubril. All right. Jibril, uh, Faith Clinic, please stretch your hand towards him. Ministers of the Gospel, please stretch your hand towards him. If you are here, if you are in the front, you cannot stretch your hand, please go to the back. Say with me, say, Father, Father. in the name of Jesus Christ, we agree with Jubril. We agree with Jubril. Jubril, they will release your soul. Jubril, they will release your soul. Jubril, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jubril, they, will Christ. they will not sacrifice you. 
Whatever that has affected your brain, we command you receive your healing. You are healed. We lose you from this bondage. You will not die. You will not enter this grave. We command this grave. Close up. Close up. Close up. Jubim. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. Jubim. Rise. 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 Shine. Rise. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Jubril, you will not die. You will live. The blood suckers, they will not suck your own blood. Spoilers will not spoil you. You are released from the detention camp. In Jesus' name. And amen. Right? 11. Amen. Look up this way. Man of God, please read. And, and it, it came to pass. It came to pass. The day after. The day after. That he went into a city called Nain. He went to a city called Beautiful. And wonderful Nain. And many of his disciples. And many of his disciples. Went with him. Went with him. And much people. And much people. Hear me. I don't know what brought you here. But today is your day. The Bible said. It came to pass. After today. After today, your testimony will surface. And your testimony shall not be had with few people. Many people. Many people were following Jesus Christ. They were not following him because they loved him. They were following him because of what they think they can get. Anybody following you because of what they will get, not that they love you, God will take them out of your life. They were just following. Uh-huh, who is he? He says he's a son of God. Let's see what he can do. There are people that are very close to you, monitoring you, to see how far you can go. But I speak to you that any foundation God did not lay in your life, shall be crushed. Any foundation God did not lay in your life shall be crushed. Shall be crushed. Shall be crushed. Shall be crushed. Will be crushed. Somebody shout a louder Amen. They were following Jesus into a city called Nain. But within them they are not beautiful. But they are following Jesus to enter beautiful. They are following life. But here they are, wicked people following you. I don't know who is following you about. But after today, God will detach them. God will detach them. Because a miracle is about to happen in your life. I speak to you, miracle is about to happen. There are people that cannot follow you to where there is a miracle. When... Abraham was about to offer Isaac. He told some people, he said, stay here. Stay here. <laughs> there are people that will not follow you to where it will happen. They are going to stay here. 
Because you are going into the city of Lane. A beautiful city. An unusual city. A city of prosperity. A city of good health. A city of favor. A city of connection. I say you will enter it in the name of Jesus Christ. They followed him to the place called Nen. Go ahead. When he was come nigh to the gate of the city. Hold on. Everybody say gate. Yes. Did I hear you say gate? Yes. Shout it. Yes. For every blessing in your life that is a gate. So when they shut down the gate, they shut you down. If there was no gate, there would be no passage. There would be no entrance. There would be no access. So every gate that needs to be opened in your life today, they are opened in the name of Jesus Christ. Your gates are opened. 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 Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want you to go to somebody and tell him no devil can close my gates. Go around and tell somebody no devil can close my gate. I must pass through that gate. Say it loud. Let somebody hear the sound of your voice. Your gates are they open? The Bible said that your gates shall be opened continuously. In the morning it shall be open. In the afternoon it shall be open. In the night it shall be open. In the morning it shall be open. Your gates are open. Open that. Open that. And what is open is open. No devil will close it again. Jump up and shout, my gates are open. He passed through the gate. If the gate was not there, he would not enter the name. He has to pass through the gate. And remember that when he passed through the gate, they didn't mention that those people followed him again. If you read. You did say it. Hmm? Man of God, read. And now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out. Hold on. When he passed through the gate, when he came to demand the men, those people were no more following if you watch it, they have dropped. The Bible did not say they still followed. Now Jesus took over. You are about to take over. Everybody say, I'm taking over. Go ahead. Behold, there was a dead man carried out. There was a dead man. The only son of his The only son. Hold on. Every movement of Jesus has a purpose. He went, he faced Nain. And when he came to the gates, those people that had been following him stayed behind. He stepped in. He came to the gate. And while he entered the gate, a dead man Carried in a casket. Carried in a box. The only thing that mattered to the woman. Carried in a box. Is there anything that mattered to you that is in the box? He said, think. Is there anything you have been struggling for in your life? And it is boxed. In a casket. And somebody is carrying it away. And here you are. Helpless. Hopeless. No help. Nobody. Nothing. 
and you are following them behind with pain. You are crying. Release. Release me. Lose me. I am tired. But they are not letting you go. I stand in the name that is above and We release in the name of Jesus Christ. We release in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know your pain. They were carrying. And the woman was shivering. <laughs> crying. <laughs> looking at the dead boy. The only thing that mattered to her. They are holding something that mattered to you. And they are watching you crying. After today your shame shall be over. After today your disgrace shall be over. After today your weeping will be over. 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 Somebody jump up and shout hallelujah. There are people that they are there. Look this way, darling. The only thing that will bring joy to your life, they have laid hands on it. Man of God, read. And much people of the city was with her. And and much, hold on, darling. The people that followed Jesus left. If you watch now, they are gone. The people you are seeing now is the mockers. The monas, the so-called monas, those who have been saying we have said you cannot last, they are the ones following the woman. Some of them they hire them to cry, to make sure that they are crying, but they are not crying. They are celebrating the woman. Oh, you think you can survive? They kill the husband. And looking at her, they say, you are still making it in Yanga. We are coming after you. We are still holding your, your we have your joker card. And that your joker card is your child. We will strike. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care where they are coming from. God will put them to shame in your life. God will put them to shame in your life. God will put them to shame in your life. God will put them to shame in your life. God will disgrace them out of your life. God will stop them. God will disappoint them. God will disappoint them. God will disappoint them. If you believe that, shout a louder amen. The last joker card. They hid it. They said, you think you can survive? After we have killed your husband, come and survive. You think you will survive? You are the only woman. No. We will make sure we finish you. They brought out the joker card, placed it back. And they placed the joker card, they placed it. And the joker card was the child. So, okay, strike it. And they strike, bam! And the child died. And the child died. But I know there is hope for somebody. Is there anybody that is hopeful? I know the Lord, he'll make a way for you. I know the Lord, he'll make a way for me. If I live a holy life, shun the wrong and do the right, I know the Lord. He'll make a way for me. for me. Man of God, read. Now when, when the Lord saw her, 
When the Lord saw her as he has seen somebody today, he had compassion on her. He had what? Compassion. Compassion. Please lift up your Bible. Say, Father, show me your compassion. Father, don't abandon me. Oh, my Father, show me your compassion. Show me your mercy. Show me your grace. I will never be the same again. Deliver me from the hands of the wicked. Deliver me from the hands of the wicked. Deliver me from the hand that wants to finish me. I will not die this death. I will not be buried alive. I will not be put to shame. I will see and enjoy my life. If you believe that, shout a louder Amen. Go ahead. Get compassion on her. Uh-huh. And say it unto her. Say it unto her. Weep not. Weep not. I am telling somebody now. Weep not. Did you hear that? What do I say? Look at your neighbor. Tell him your weeping is over. Tell him no more weeping. Tell three people around you now. Tell them no more weeping. If you believe no more weeping, shout hallelujah. Go ahead. And he came and touched the bell. And they that bear him stood still. They stood still. Let this and gentlemen, boys and girls, hear me. Life was coming. Death was coming. And life has to show that his life. And death was manifesting himself. We don't win, no, we don't win. It's a lie. They will stand still. That trouble will stand still for you. You are not saying amen. They were celebrating the woman. And suddenly, the ancient of days, that I am, that I am, touch, he will touch you. Oh, he will touch you, you. Oh, the joy that fills your soul. Something happened now. I know he will touch you and make you whole. Glory be to God. He touched and they stood still. Life and death jumped. And life said, put him down. They have carried you for too long. They have carried you against your will for too long. They put you in a casket. And they have been carrying you, Heshobe, Heshobe. The witches and wizards. They have been carrying you, but they don't know you are a royal child. You are not ordinary child. You cannot be swallowed up. You might look small. A lion in the forest look at elephant. When elephant was making whoa whoa, he said, shut up. He said, you might look big. He said, but what makes me the king of the forest is in me. He said, it might not be outside. He said, when I roar now, you will go and hide. Somebody roar. You are not roaring now. Roar! 
Are you a lion? Show that you're a lion. Life was standing and death pick race. I tell you, they're about to pick race. They were waving their flag. A lot of them have been waving, waving flag over you. We have won. It's a lie. You are a winner. Everybody shout, I am, I am a winner. Shout it three times. Say, put him down. Look at the woman. Say, okay, this weeping is over and out. No more. Everybody say, no more. Say enough is enough. I will weep no more. I want to hear the persons that will weep no more voice. Shout it again. Shout it loud. And I, I am sure, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, immediately Jesus said, Weep not. <laughs> the mockers. The hypocrites. The pretenders. Those with cruel love that say they love you, but their love is cruel. They will open their mouth and say, Ah, you know, Sabi say, Don't die. No, no, say, This boy, don't die. A husband, don't die. Everything, don't die. Nothing again is living. A husband die, a child die. The next thing is for her to die. That means everybody is dying. Say a lie. You will survive. Everybody jump up and shout, I'm a survivor. I want to hear somebody's voice. I am a survivor. Woo! I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Go ahead. And say it loud. Say, say, say. Beep. Look at yourself. Tell yourself nothing will bring me down. Am, am I talking to somebody? Remember what I said. Look this way. The elephant was very big. You know elephant? Standing like Kilimanjaro mountain. And was making boom, boom, boom. He came to lion. Say, lion, I have come. I am big. You must bow to me. <laughs> lion laughed. He said, you know, Sabi. He said, I'm bigger than you. The, the, the elephant said, I'm bigger than you. I will say, go sit down. What is in me is bigger. Jesus Christ in us is bigger, mightier, higher, richer, wonderful than the whole world. If you are that person, shout a louder, Amen. Can she survive <laughs> when everything is finished? It's a lie. I am not ordinary. I will not die in this battle. I will not be buried in this battle. My head is anointed with oil. My heart is exalted. I will not come down. I will not come down. Go ahead and say it. I will not come down in this battle. No, 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 no.
in Jesus name can I hear you shout amen, amen. some people will ask you question at the end of this month that how did you manage I stand in the name that is above every other name whatsoever they have consulted over your life shall fail them It will fail them. It will fail them. It will fail them. It will fail them. Can somebody shout Jesus? Jesus. Somebody you are still coming up. Can I hear you shout Jesus? Jesus. There's somebody I'm still waiting for. They have gathered themselves. They have agreed. When you shout Jesus, fire will catch up with them. Can I hear you shout that name? Jesus. Shout Jesus! Go ahead and shout Jesus! name. Somebody shout a louder amen. amen. When he said weep not. They were looking at him and said let's see what he wants to do. There are people here hear me. There are people from your village. From your family side. They have done evil. And they are waiting for the result. But they will not see anything. Yeah. Jehovah God will answer them. Yeah. A young man, they planned for him to die. Hear me. But being a prayerful man, They consulted, he told them he will not reach the village again. You will never see him again, he's gone. Unknowingly to him, after praying, he just entered a moto go. When he entered moto, he reached house. They started running up and down. You don't die. He was asking them, What's the meaning of that? Anybody we won't bury you go bury himself. <laughs> say weep not. Say told them. He said told the woman weep not. Go ahead. Go ahead. They weep not. Him and touch the bear. Touch, touch the, the casket. And they that bear him stood still. And everybody that was cast. Who, who is devil? Where Jesus is? Who is dead? Where life is, life stopped death, and death was standing still. Go ahead. And he said to the young man, I say unto thee, arise. <laughs> and he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. Are you there? Hope was gone. Like some of you, your hope is gone. And they have carried you. You have tried, you have done everything. Nothing is happening. But today, Jesus Christ of Nazareth has intercepted On the highway of life and death. Say so they should put you down. And when they put, You are down already. Say so rise. Because they made you. You cannot perform again. Say so rise. You rose. He said. You, you can speak. You will speak. 
and you will go back to your source of blessing. They took away your glory. Your glory could not speak again. They covered it. But from today, tell somebody, my glory is back again. Are you there? Tell somebody, my glory is back again. Say it over and over. Amen. Why did he ask him to rise? See what happened. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Rise. That's a command. And remember that those mourners, we didn't see them again. No. The ones that followed Jesus, he stopped. The one that followed the woman, he disappeared. <laughs> they are no more in this, on the scene. Everything that has been training your story, that have been flying on the same frequency with you to stop you, today, you shall look for them, you shall find them no more. I want you to say to yourself, I will find them no more. Say it over and over to yourself, I will see them no more. I will not see them again. Go ahead. Are you there? Isaiah 60. Isaiah About 60. to stop now. Verse 1. Go ahead. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise. Shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Look up here. When they kill this, the only thing that mattered to this woman, her glory flew away. Some of you, they have killed things in your life. Your talent, your potential. Those things that you can use to become somebody in life, they killed it. They captured it. They put it in a casket. And they say you can never rise again. But I prophesy to you, because Jesus said to that boy, rise, you will rise today. And not only rising, you will rise to shine. This boy became the talk of the town. His testimony went round. When you rise today, in your village, your testimony shall be heard. There's somebody I am talking to. You will build that house. You will enjoy your life. You will enjoy your marriage. You will enjoy your children. You will enjoy your health. You will enjoy everything you lay your hands to do. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. If you believe that, shout a louder amen. Those that knew that this boy died. When he came back, he started visiting all of them. He said, I'm back. They will knock at their door. They will run back. They say, I have come to shine. You took away my glory. My glory is back again. That thing you are afraid that I, I will do. I'm about to do it. God will use you to surprise your enemies. Everybody shout, I will shine again. I'm not hearing you. In Jesus name. Somebody shout a louder amen. As many that will shine again here, shout amen. amen. When you are shining, the glory of the Lord will be seen upon you. Amen. Look at verse 2. Before I call in the man of God, our representative in Europe, to come and pray for us. Look at it. For behold, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, uh -huh. and gross darkness the people. Uh -huh.
But the Lord shall arise upon thee. Uh -huh. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. They use darkness called death to cover this boy. But when Jesus came, he took away the cross darkness, threw it back to the center, and the glory came. And this boy started shining. And those who doesn't believe started gnashing their teeth. I'm talking to you. That thing they plan for you shall go back to the sender. He said, gross darkness will cover the earth. Will cover them. Will overtake them. Those who doesn't think anything good. All they know is evil, evil, evil. It shall go back to them. It shall go back to them. It will go back to them. It will go back to them. I'm not hearing your amen. It will go back to them. All the darkness they are carrying all around shall go back to them. 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 It will go back to them. Look at me. Some of you here, they have given you up. <laughs> they have given you up. They never believed you can ever be anything. Like me. They never believed I could be something in life. I don't know where you are came, coming from. But Esther came from behind. Esther was a slave. This woman, everything went wrong. And all her enemies were celebrating her. But Jesus came. And he said, rise and shine. That means you have been on that seat for too long. Everybody shout, I will no more sit on this seat. I'm not hearing your voice. I'm not hearing somebody. Say, Father! Evil seat. My enemies get to me. I will not sit on them. Prophesy on yourself. I will not sit. Oh, yeah, pray. I will not sit on this seat. I will rise and shine. I am tired of this seat. This seat of sickness. This seat of failure. This seat of disgrace. This seat of poverty. This seat of lack. This seat of want. I will not sit on you again. I will not sit on you again. Pray. In Jesus' name. Now hold somebody. That is two, two, not three. You are going to agree with that person that every arrow assigned to arrest two of you shall go back to the sender. Oh yeah. Say pray in the name of every arrow assigned from the pit of hell to arrest two of you shall go back to the sender. 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 Every arrow of witches and wizards, every arrow of sickness shall go back. Let them go back. Pray. Command them. Say, when you make a decree, it shall come to pass. Jesus told them, told the boy, come up. He touched it, he said, stand still. They stood still. Every arrow. Don't forget that word, arrow. Change. Change to someone else. Every arrow from your village. Every arrow from my father's house. 
every arrow from my mother's house, wherever they are, go back. Every arrow from my place of work, every arrow from my husband's side, every arrow from my father's side, my wife's side, go back. Change. Every arrow from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south, wherever the arrow is coming from, back to Rishanda, back to Rishanda, pray. Change. Let God disappoint all those arrows. Let them be disappointed. All the evil words spoken. Let them be disappointed. Every evil word spoken shall be disappointed. Change. You are going to bless the person for money. Money. Help us. Help us. Money. Contract. Good business. Oh yeah. Favor. Mercy. Connections. Good men. Good women. In Jesus' name. Now, your neighbor. Help, help because of that baby. Where are the partners? Please help. Lift your hands. Say with me, say my hands. Rise! And make wealth. My hands! Rise! And make wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say my hands. Rise! Make wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. My hands! Rise! Make money! My hands! Rise! Make money! My hands! Rise! Make money! Make money! Make money! Make money! Make money! Make money! Now you are going to sow a seed now. With those hands before I call the men of God to pray. Yes. Yes. The fire is burning. Are you there? Put money into your hand. Mind your own. In the do her. She they do her own. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Lift it. Say money. Some people are seated though. I beg, make you not see this time. Say money. Come to me. I receive you now. Money. I receive your money. Come to me now. I receive you in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, your music, drop it on the altar. Music.
God has a plan for you. A plan to give you a bright future. Come and experience expository teachings and a powerful prophetic breakthrough service this Sunday at Christian Pentecostal Mission International with God's anointed servants. Reverend Dr. O. Isaacal, the General Overseer. Reverend Dr. Mercy Isaacal, co pastor National and International Coordinator and other anointed servants of God. Worship with us this Sunday at 8.30 a.m. at Christian Pentecostal Mission International Headquarters, 10 and 12 Latif Salami Street, Ajawa Estate, along Mutala Mohammed Airport Road, Lagos. You can also worship with any CPM International branch close to you. It will be a time of salvation, healing, deliverance in the presence of God. CPM, Jesus Christ is Lord.